I really wish in high school we had a course called engineering or with the word engineering in it instead of um, always science because it's an application of math and science to say real world problems. At least that's what we do here at BCIT. We have a real practitioner focus engineering program. And so what we're doing is we're developing analytic and design and problem solving skills along with a whole lot of other skills in order to be able to apply math and science to solve problems. So if you like math and you like science and you like solving problems, well, it's probably of interest to someone in, in high school. I think it's the practitioner focus that we have here. I think the hands-on aspect that we have here, I think the types of students that we attract, I find really interesting because they are much, much better than I am in terms of creativity, in terms of imagination, where they can, what they can do with the skills, the technical skills that they're, they're gaining and the non-technical skills that they're, they're achieving. So. I just find them extremely interesting to work with. I think it's actually quite easy to be successful in an engineering career. The, the profession is very supportive. Um, there are a lot of opportunities. So uh, even when you train as an engineer, as an undergraduate engineer, postgraduate studies, there are a lot of doors, a lot of avenues, a lot of paths that you can take. So I think that it makes the it makes it very easy to succeed if you want to succeed. It's like anything. I think anyone who works hard at what they do and takes pride in their work will, will do well, will succeed.